Morning team. I'll be honest with you, I'm feeling a bit nervous today. It rained last night. Just looking over that way at the Hobbit house. Or the Hobbit shed, the lawnmower's home. Um, yeah, it rained last night. And uh, there we go. Take the drill, gonna need that. Um, I'm not sure how that cement will have held up. So, let's go and have a look. It's also due to rain all day today. Look at those clouds. Beautiful, you know. Tara's right. This is a really great place to be working. Um, okay, well, it looks pretty okay. Yeah, it's set, everybody. That's great news. Hard as a rock. If you're new around here, we're the newbies. I'm Tara, this is John, and these are our two little boys, Crusoe and Sawyer. We've been renovating this abandoned farm in Northern Portugal for over a year. Converting outbuildings, creating outdoor living spaces, expanding the family and making some gnarly abandoned homes livable. Now we're gearing up for a monumental task. Join us as we prepare to knock it all down and build our very own dream home here on our land. But before we can do that, we're facing our toughest season yet. Living in a home that has just two rooms with two little boys who are under the age of three and a very wet winter ahead. Question is, can we handle it? Okay, so today we've got to finish that side off over there and we've got to try and put a roof on it. The reason for that is um, on Friday, which is three days away from now, uh, Senor Agostino is coming with his tractor to put soil over the top of it. So that'll be an exciting day. But he can only do that, of course, when the walls are up. So I'm just going to crack on and get those walls up. It's looking a bit scruffy on the outside, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to be fixing that blast i didn't cover up the cement last night that'll be interesting okay um let's just get on with it hey stop chit chatting that seems to have worked quite nicely Should we call Mario? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, buddy.
Mummy wants us to build a potato store in that hole there. So what do you think? Yeah. Good idea. Daddy. Yeah. Need a brush. You need a brush. Yeah. That's a good idea. What about that big blue brush? Where? I think it's up on the next to the courtyard, isn't it? Oh so, yeah. You want to go get it? Well done. You're running. You're going to sweep it? No, not oh. that bit. Sweep the inside bit. Here? No, here. We need to do all of this with scrap here. Well then, can you sweep close up to that wall for me? You hold the spade then. Shall we mix some cement, Crusoe? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Little by little, we put a bit more water in. Okay, um, before we carry on, I think I'm going to build this little storeroom here that Tara's looking for. Um, see how we get on with that. Not quite sure yet how I'm going to do it, but I think it'll literally just be a box and then build up a few blocks and see how it goes. We can probably get it up to, well, how big can it be? All right, there's the space for Tara's potatoes in here that probably fit quite a lot of potatoes in there even though it looks quite small next plan will be to put a roof on this part here build up this wall here a bit of plastic some mud bob's your uncle <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is the first ever building that I've built out of brick. Um, <laughs> in fact, it's the first ever wall that I've ever made and it's the first ever Hobbit shed that I've ever built too. So lots of firsts there. Pretty confident if this was my A-level or my O-level exam, I'd have probably just about scraped a pass. I'm not too worried about the block work looking a bit squonk and actually I'm pretty pleased with the way it's turned out and the reason for that is we started off with a bit of a squonk um, um, base and, the, and the, the brickwork down there wasn't too good to start off with. In hindsight, if I was to start over, I think I would have leveled the first lot out first of all, a piece of cement and leveled that cement out and redone the foundations and then built up from that. We live and we learn. Um, but like I say, I'm not too worried about the squonk look of the breeze blocks because on the outside, we're gonna have plastic and then we're gonna cover it with mud. So it's gonna be the Hobbit house and you're just gonna see mud on the outside, hopefully flowers and really lovely looking stuff as well. Maybe a couple of bunny rabbits bouncing around on top. On the inside, we are going to render these walls. So it's gonna look, well, basically, you're not gonna see these blocks. It'll be like those Edwardian Georgian houses in London. You know, the ones with the really tall, beautiful buildings, very tall, thin buildings they've got render on the outside. I do know that back in the olden days they used to just chuck any kind of blocks and rubbish and what have you into those walls and then they take the, the render and they'd render it and make it look all fancy and gentrified um, and now they're worth millions and millions and trillions of um, pounds, dollars. There is hope for this room yet. It could be the next trillion dollar home. Plenty of work left to do still first though and well next we put the roof on some plastic on the outside and chuck some mud over and then we'll start thinking about rendering the inside and hanging some curtains pretty pleased with how it's going so far back when john and i first met we were working for a travel company and i remember so clearly sitting next to him watching him do hours of research looking for the perfect bag for travel. Fast forward those 10 years, and I reckon we found the perfect suitcase. And so I'm so excited to introduce the sponsor of today's video, Level 8. Now, I didn't think it would be possible to be so impressed by a suitcase, but honestly, these are gonna change my life. And if you're looking for new luggage this Christmas, I can't recommend them enough. We also have a 15% discount code for you, which is in our description below. So don't forget to check that out and click on the link. But let me tell you why I love them. This is my suitcase. Of course it is. It's the biggest one. It has a really wide handle. The wheels are amazing. We took these to Morocco and I promise you, the suitcase just about wheels itself. It has a handle on the top and the side and in the middle here. So when you're taking it off the carousel, it doesn't matter which direction it's coming. It's easy to get off. You've got an inbuilt code lock system, which your zips click into and let me show you inside. This made it so easy for us to stay super organized. Two panels. This one is waterproof and this one is see-through so that you can see what you got. But if that wasn't enough organization for you, we also have their incredible packing cubes. Check these out. They come with these super cute little Velcro labels, which just swap out this one now. It's for shoes. So there you have it, level eight. For me, it's always the small details that make the big differences. These guys nailed it. So make sure you go and check it out on the level eight website. And a huge thanks to level eight for upping our suitcase game. I am so excited to hit the road with these guys. Oh, wow, boys, what a beautiful morning, hey? Come on, this way. Where are you going? Come on, Sawyer. we got to put the laundry in first. Just going on an adventure. We're going on an adventure. Yeah. Good morning, folks. You join me for my morning chores. First things, laundry. Secondly, chickens. And then the boys and I have got a really important project.
Hey guys, this way, we gotta go let the chickens out. There we go, chaps, good morning. Hey. Scrape, 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 good yeah. job. Mine saw his fingers. <gasps> Lots of eggs. Whoa. Whoa. Ow, this has got chicken pole. Okay, well, we make sure we wash our hands. Oh. Oh, yeah. Can you manage all of them? Yeah. Good job. Sorry, mind your head. That's it. Mind your fingers. Good work. Yeah. Right. Good work. So, Chrissy, can you manage those? Yeah. Okay, we're going to put them in the fridge. Chicken ball. Chicken ball. Yeah. Well, we make sure we wash our hands, don't we? Yeah. So, we have this little kind of tradition in our family. We did it once before in our van safari, where we tucked a letter behind the panelling in the van, which kind of told the story of where we were as a family at that point in our little journey. Um, <laughs> said who we were why well, you got a big rock hey um said who we were and kind of said you know why are you ripping our van to pieces because the only way someone would have found it is if they were taking all the paneling off the van because you never know what the future holds and you never know kind of you know where we'll be and who's gonna come across it i remember being fascinated as a child by the idea of a message in a bottle and finding one at the beach and kind of something that had been floating on the sea and making a friend from across the world it was a concept that was really exciting to me as a little person so we thought it would be fun to put together a time capsule to go beneath the path that john is laying around the farm likely a hood is it will never be found but imagine one day it was and what people would find in there and what they would think and what they'd come across. It's quite a cool idea. Um, a few of you actually commented on our recent episode with Mario building the wall with the digger to say that we should do this. And it was really uncanny because we've been talking about it for a long time. So thank you for the ideas, folks. And um, yeah, we just loved it because it's exactly what we've been thinking. You kind of read our minds. Anyway, I'm going to go and scope out what we can put in it. Is that the most amazing leaf you've ever seen? Okay. Um, and then put it all together and take it down to John so that we can bury it. Hey, Crusoe, how you doing, buddy? Well, I'm just taking down all of this so that we can start putting a roof on today. Careful with that. Mommy wants you to come and help me make a time capsule. We're going to put lots of treasures inside the jar and then we're going to bring the jar to daddy and we're going to dig a big, big hole and we're going to put it under the park. Okay. That's held nicely. I'm pleased about that. Okay, fellas. Well, bricks and cement are quite good fun, aren't they? Um, okay, fellas, go and help mummy, please. That, uh, that cement set nicely. So basically what that means is I've got a nice flat top. It's all level across there. Um, Sawyer's coming to check if it's level. <laughs> yeah, Sawyer's coming to check if it's level. What have you got there, buddy? Is that the vato bus? See? Thank you, my little man. Um, now what we're going to do today is we're going to put a roof on here, cross like that, and then a roof on the top there. We've got some leftover beams, if anybody remembers when I was building the tiny house. I was having all sorts of problems with those big cement beams that we had over in there. Um, and in, in fact, in the end, I took them out and I replaced them with wooden beams. I think those cement beams will be perfect right here. So I'm going to go and get them. I'm going to lay them out. Have a quick look at it. We're gonna get mix some more cement, stick a roof on. Bob's your uncle once again. Um, and if he's not, sorry. Um, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be ready for Senor Agostino. Agostino um, to come and put some mud over the top. And then we can start thinking about what we want the front to look like. We can put that door in that we made earlier. Start making it look a little bit snazzy. Plants and flowers, my favourite bit. All good. Sawyer's with the Vato Passi again. Um, 
Right, let's go. Come on, fellas. Go, go, go. Daddy's leaving also. Where's Daddy going, Mum? Where's Daddy going? I've got to pick Mommy. up those Come. big cement beans. One, two, three, four, five, six of these I think we've got. Now if I remember, they're bloody heavy. There they are. Okay, out the way, Crusoe, please. Whoa, is there any ants? Hey. Is there any ants? Are there any ants? No, I think the ants have gone on yeah. holiday now, Crusoe gone to find somewhere warmer. Mushroom. Mushroom. Mushroom, yeah. Scissor. Okay. Okay. Let's see whether we can lift those. It's like herding cats, I tell you, I can't get them anywhere. But anyway, first thing I need is a jar. So I'm thinking that probably if I used a jar with a normal metal lid, there's a chance that it will rust and then everything will get kind of ruined. So I'm gonna have a look and see if I've got a jar with a glass lid, one of those clip top jars, which are quite precious, but this is a precious thing. So let's see what I can find. I did have a whole bag. I think I've used all the small ones. I don't really want to sacrifice a really big one. I wonder if I swap these over maybe. in that one and get a little clip top glass jar for my time capsule. This is too heavy. So I'm gonna need some help with those I think. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. You get some gloves. Sure. Mum, get gloves. Okay. Go get them, Mum. Yep, I have eyes on. Daddy, daddy, shot. Hi.
So in Finland, they have a saying, lazy man's hands get blisters. Look at that, man. They are sore, those hands. That's what building does. Definitely prefer working with wood, <laughs> for sure. Okay, that's pretty much it. We've got the roof on and the, uh, the potato store that Tara wanted is also built. Just need to cover it with plastic and then some mud and we can start making it look pretty. Put some cladding on that front bit there, put the door in place. Yeah, fun. It's very, very close to being there. I mean, really all we've got to do now, I say all we've got to do is put those, um, put that plastic over the top and then put a whole bunch of soil over the top of that. Plants, clad the front, put a door on it, render the inside, make it look fancy, put a couple of shelves up probably. Um, lots, of, uh, lots of fun jobs to do now, but all of the block work and the cement work is pretty much done. What we're going to also want to do is continue that path from round the corner, from round on the lawn, all the way up round here. Um, and that's another job that needs to be done. But, um, and it's such a beautiful path as well because it's sort of wiggly windy. It's going to look great when it's done.